Hello, my name is Mr. Peppermint, and this is my friend Muffin. Ha! We've come today to help you understand a little more about what an emergency is and what you can do to get help in case you have an emergency. As you know, there are no real live dinosaurs around today. But did you know some scientists believed the dinosaurs had a big emergency and didn't know what to do to get help? I wonder if real dinosaurs had telephones to call nine wood wood. What do you think? I'm sure there were no telephones with 911 to help the dinosaurs, Muffin. But there sure is help for us today. Let's find out what to do in case of a fire emergency. Let's get out of the house and go call 911. Speak clear, stay calm, remember where you live. Cause there's important information that you're gonna have to give. Muffin, that was great thinking of that baby Triceratops to get away from that fire and call 911 for help. She realized she had an emergency and needed help fast. Yep, Mr. Peppermint. She was really smart to remember to get right out of the burning house to safety before she made that bad wood wood call. That's right, Muffin. But I can think of another kind of emergency where you would not want to get out of the house before calling 911. Can you? Well... I don't do. What if you were home alone and you hear someone trying to get into your house? Boy, I would need help fast. Okay. Now, let's see what other smart dinosaurs would do. 911, it's Someone's trying to break into your house and you're home alone. In this situation, your best friend is the telephone. Stay clear of the stranger, and you're doing fine. Well, I know it's kind of scary, but you got to stay on that line. Pick it up. 911, we die. 911, it's easy. Gosh, Mr. Pyramid. It makes me feel better to know all I have to do to get help if someone is trying to get in my house when I'm alone is to stay out of sight and call Dad Wood Wood. That's good, Muffin. But you must remember to stay on the phone until the 911 helper gets all the information they need, even if you get scared. Yeah, I guess they couldn't help me if they didn't know where I was or what was happening. There's one other kind of emergency you must stay for, too, Muffin. Let's find out what it is. 911, die. 911, it's so easy. Someone gets hurt, looks like they need help. They might need an ambulance. 911 is who you tell. Get to the phone and tell them what you see. Hey, don't be afraid. 911 is there for emergencies. Get down. 911, it's easy. 911, tell them what you see. 911. Now you've seen what to do in three different kinds of emergencies, Muffin. Can you remember them all? You bet, Mr. Pervert. When there's a fire, get out to safety and call 911. When I'm home alone and someone tries to get in, I stay out of sight and call 911. And let's see. Oh, yeah. If someone gets really hurt, I call 911 for help. Great, Muffin. But you forgot a very important part of using 911. You must stay on the phone until the 911 helper tells you it's okay to hang up. Remember? Oh, yeah. I wonder what they will ask me in an emergency. Well, Let's go find out. Okay. Muffin, these are our 911 friends. The firefighter, the police officer, and the paramedic. 
Do you have a question for them? Yeah, I sure do. I need to know what you'll ask me if I call Nine Wood Wood in an emergency. First, Muffin, I need to make sure that you're in a safe place. Then, I need to know where the fire is. If you don't know the address, look on the telephone that you're calling from for the number. When you go home today, make sure that every phone has that phone number on there. That way, the 911 operator can find you. That's exactly what I need to know, too. You need to speak clearly and stay calm so I can understand you. And don't hang up the phone until you're told to do so. It's also very important to us. You need to stay on the phone if someone is really hurt. I'll ask some questions about the injured person. You can make a big difference in an emergency if you remember what we've told you. Well, Muffin, I understand now what our 911 helpers will need to know. How about you? You bet, Mr. Peppermint. They were a big help. But I wonder what I should do if I'm somewhere 911 doesn't work. Muffin, you're really thinking today. And our friend Casey was really thinking, too. He was visiting his grandmother when she got sick. So Casey went to the phone and called for help. Oh, no. There's no 911 sticker on this telephone. Wait, what is this? Great. Grandma has a special emergency number here. State your emergency. My grandmother is sick. Your grandmother is sick? Okay, what's your name? Okay, Casey, where do you live? That case is sure as cool as an emergency, Mr. Pepper, but I'm glad to know I look for a seven digit number if 911 doesn't work. You bet, Muffin. And Casey's grandma was smart to have that other number on the phone. And if you're somewhere where 911 doesn't work, it's important to have that other special number handy. And remember, you can also dial zero for operator when there's an emergency. I sure have learned a lot about what to do at an emergency today, Mr. Peppermint. That's great, Muffin. Maybe if the real dinosaurs had 911 to help them, they would have learned what to do, too. It's important to keep safe and to know what to do in case you need help. Yeah. Like get out in case of fire. Then call nine wood wood. And if you think someone is trying to break into your house when you're alone, get out of sight and call nine wood wood. Then, like Casey, if someone's hurt or really sick, call nine wood wood or the special seven digit number for help. And remember, always be calm, speak clearly, and stay on the phone. Great job, Muffin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah.